<clears throat> so welcome to uh, the topic 2.5 salts and electrolysis um, the, uh, the first thing we need to do before we, we look at anything in this unit is to have a bit of a pH scale recap so more than likely you've done the uh, pH scale before to show how acid or alkaline a solution is the scale runs from 0, most acidic there to 14 which is most alkaline um, universal indicators, very special indicator made from a number of dyes and complex chemicals and it turns different colours at different values of pH. Anything in the middle is 7, uh, neutral, either acid or alkaline. You've got some examples of anything that really washes or cleans like washing soda, oven cleaner, that sort of thing is an alkali. Uh, milk and magnesia soap, slightly alkaline. They now try and go for pH balanced neutral soaps. Rainwater, slightly acidic, of course, due to acid rain. You have um, black coffee and then orange juice, vinegar, lemon juice going to hydrochloric, very acidic. So a simple scale in effect from key stage 3. Now the first of these units then we're going to look at acids and alkalis and there's a part of this that I'm going to talk about from the making salts topic which is state symbols in equations, solid, liquids, gas and aqueous, meaning in water in Latin. The second part is looking at metal oxides and hydroxide which are, we call a base and soluble hydroxide which are called alkalis. We're also going to look at the idea of hydrogen ions, H pluses in water, that make solutions that are acidic and hydroxide ions or OH minus in aqueous in water um, make solutions alkaline. pH gale is this measure of acidity or alkalinity of a solution and candidates should be familiar with the pH scale from 0 to 14 and know that 7 is neutral. We also need to look at the idea of a neutralisation reaction where hydrogen ions react with hydroxide ions to produce water. This reaction can be represented by the simple equation H plus aqueous plus OH minus aqueous combine to form H2O. And of course this version of the equation um, the eagle eyed will realise it's not in balance that you would require um, 2 here or would you? Let's think. Would you require to? No, you don't, because actually it is balanced, because actually there's H plus and there's H minus, so it is balanced. So we don't need a 2, although well, there's a 2 here, one comes from this part and one comes from this part. So, symbols are very simple, aren't they? S is a solid, L is a liquid, that's not the same as dissolved in water, and G is a gas. Aqueous means dissolved in water comes from the Latin word aqua, meaning water. If you don't know the state of a substance in a chemical reaction, look at the melting and boiling points. The melting point is above the reaction temperature, the substance is a solid. If the boiling point is below the reaction temperature, the substance is a gas. And if the melting point is below the reaction temperature and the boiling point is above the reaction temperature, then the substance must be a liquid. Okay, so let's look at the idea of soluble hydroxides are alkalis and hydrogen ions make solutions acidic and, and hydroxide ions OH- make solutions alkaline. pH scale is a measure of acidity or alkalinity of a substance. So use a model map to show the idea of an alkali clearly. So you could think about how to rewrite the ideas shown in the pH scale in this pictorially as, as, a, as a memory idea. So of course acids have a pH of less than 7. Um, and the more strongly acidic here, a solution is the lowest pH number. Acidic solutions turn blue, um, litmus paper red, or universal indicator red if they're strongly acidic, orange or yellow if they're weak. Now alkalis are bases that dissolve in water, and copper oxide is not an alkali because it does not dissolve in water. Sodium hydroxide is an alkali because it does dissolve in water. So alkaline solutions have a pH more than 7, the stronger the alkali, the higher the pH number. And the same idea, the red litmus paper turns blue. They turn universal indicator paper dark blue or purple if they're strongly alkaline and blue green if they're weak. Basic stuff from key stage 3 in, in, in any effect. The only difference is, is this idea of sodium hydroxide being an alkali because it does dissolve in water. So um, anything that uh, any base that dissolves in water is what we call an alkali. But and you have something that is a base like copper oxide that doesn't. So there is a bit of a difference. It's, it's almost like a third group. Now, there's a little bit further we can say that bases are substances that can react with acids. 
and neutralize them to make a salt and water and they are called bases and they're usually metal oxides or metal hydroxides for example copper oxide and sodium hydroxide are both bases and we've already talked about neutral having a pH of 7 and they, they do not change the colour of the litmus paper but they turn uh, UI paper green water is, is neutral if it's distilled now let's look at neutralization reactions where hydrogen ions react with hydroxide to produce water the reaction can be represented by that same equation ok so a task give a simpler word equation for how acids and alkalis dissolve in water that would be basic and then explain how we know that ammonia is an alkali that would be a good task to do so acids dissolve in water they produce these hydrogen ions H plus if we look at hydrochloric acid HCl aqueous goes to H plus and Cl minus alkalis dissolve in water to produce aqueous hydroxide ions or OH minus for example let's look at sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide metal and OH Na plus OH minus ammonia is slightly different this is the equation for an ammonia in solution NH3 aqueous plus water goes to NH4 plus plus OH minus so slight, slightly different so we need to be also very careful to write OH capitals minus, not O, or O like that minus. Very specific with the chemical symbols. These are three to burn into your memory for the exam. So if we look a, a bit further then, let's look at what we've got here. So neutralization is when H plus ions um, from an acid react with the OH minus ions from an alkaline. A neutralization reaction occurs to form water. So the equation would be these two ions added together for water. For example, hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide react together to form water and sodium chloride. The acid contains H plus ions and Cl minus ions, and the alkali contains sodium plus ions but no H minus ions. The H plus ions and no H minus ions produce the water, and the Na plus ions and Cl minus ions produce the sodium chloride or Na. Cl aqueous, so they'll be floating about. But if I boiled off all the water, I get a salt at the end of it. We've produced a salt, is the important idea. Now, titration can show neutralization. So, here we have titration equipment. So, an acid base titration is neutralization performed in the lab in order to determine an unknown concentration of the acid or base. We add acid or water to the burette here and the conical flask, and it drips slowly. So in this case, the moles of acid would equal the moles of the base to obtain a neutral solution. For example, if you're titrating hydrochloric acid with sodium hydroxide, you would add the two together to form NaCl and water. There'd be a salt and water at the bottom. From this equation, you can see there'd be a one-to-one -one ratio between the HCl and the NaOH to produce one salt and one water. We can then evaporate water again to obtain salt crystals at the end if we wished to prove what we've got. Now one acid we use in the lab is hydrochloric acid and that's formed when gas hydrogen chloride dissolves in water. So HCl gas dissolves to form H plus and Cl minus. All acids form H plus ions when we add them to water and it's the hydrogen ions that make a solution acidic. Hydrogen chloride also forms chloride ions, Cl minus. The aqueous shows that the ions are in aqueous solution. In other words, they're dissolved in water. The bases are the opposites of the acids in the way they react because alkalis are bases which result, dissolve in water and they're the bases with which we use most commonly. For example, sodium hydroxide is often found in school labs and when sodium hydroxide is formed when we dissolve the solid sodium hydroxide in water and there we've got the same sort of reaction we've seen before. All alkalis form these OH minus ions when we add them to water. It is the hydroxide ions that make a solution alkaline because they're dissolved. Now if you look at these statements you can match them up and if you pause the video at this point and then the answer will come in in a second. So pause now and here are the answers to test if you knew what you were doing. Now another mini check, what are the four state symbols for chemical reactions? Name an acid, name an alkali, 
name a salt, what is the difference between an alkali and a base? And name a base. And then name an alkali. One that you've not thought of before, that is. And then write an equation for neutralisation. If you can do all these things, you're on your way to knowing about acids and alkalis and pH. And that's the end of this video.